So there was a conversation on Discord about someone who had a lot of potentially tedious work to do with scripting, and uh, I wanted to take the time to run through a quick tutorial about how it might be possible to generate code that would be otherwise really boring to write quickly and easily using tools like Excel or a Spreadsheet. So um, this is just going to be an example of how to do that. Uh, I'm going to use the example of teleporting monsters in as if they're spawning into the map, but I want to be clear this isn't really a tutorial on how to do that because what I'm doing here isn't always what you're going to want to do. It's not necessarily the most efficient way. Um, I'll put a link in the tutorial to uh, Bridgeburner's excellent video tutorial on how to do that. Um, so I've just set this up as an example. Um, and essentially, um, we have just a player start. Uh, we've got a row of teleport destinations and a switch. And say we want to press that switch and have all of those imps that we have in the closet here go into each one of those instantly, instantaneously. So um, I'm going to do this as part of the script. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to walk through this, you know, from the, the simple. So we're going to use it's action 80. I already know is run script, script execute. Uh, oh, I haven't created the script yet. I need to have at least a simple script for it. So uh, hash include z common dot acs. Yeah, I think we always want that. And I'm just going to say call it script one. In fact, no, I'm going to. I don't use numbered scripts. Or I try to avoid it nowadays because I think it's slightly better to name them. Um, easier to follow later on if you come back to your map. So I'm going to say um, teleport imps. I'm just going to call it like you can put them in quotes like that. We're not passing anything to it. Open that. So what we want in if we were going to do this in a script would be teleport other. And the way that this works is T ID is the ID of the thing that we're teleporting. Destination ID is the ID of the um, teleport destination. And fog is whether or not you get the teleport flash. So first things first, we'd need a tag for each of these. Now you could theoretically go through and you know go to the first one, go to our tags, put a number in there. The second one, go to the tags, put a number in there, which are both new. Um, the way to go that I would recommend with this, in fact, it wouldn't work with that because I've already, on this map, for example, we already have a load of tags for 3D floors that I gave in a previous example. So, uh, the way I would often do this, you can have, um, you can view your used tags somewhere. I have this uh, view use tags, shift F4, I have it set to. Um, it's here behind the script screen. What I would often do with something like this is, uh, this goes up to 14, you might have a map with lots of tags. I tend to go and choose something completely out. So you can write greater than or equal to and you put a tag number, I'm going to put a thousand in because I know there's nothing near it. And what that's done, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see this first one has tag. I'll open it so it's easy to make sure you see it. That's a thousand, it's done that for us. A thousand and one, all the way through to a thousand and nine. So I'm going to do, that was just, I'm going to do it again for these. But these are going to be different tags because they're the destination tags. So destinations, select them in order that they're going to apply the tag, right click, and I'm going to go greater than or equal to 1010. So then we have 1000, 1010. So we've got a 
difference of it's in between each. So let's let's write this one to teleport one in. So teleport other. Thing ID 1000, destination ID 1010 for the first one. True, we'll have a little a flash. So, so let's save that. Compiled without errors. Let's go into the map. Oh, before I go that, I have to assign it the script. So we've got a script execute. And you see, because this our thing won't turn up because it's not it's a named one. If I click string, teleport imps, it's right there for us. And that's easier to read later on further down the line, so that's why I prefer naming it like that. Um, it's not a repeatable actually, it's when the player presses use. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to close this because it sits on top. And let's run this map. There we are. There we go. One in. It works. But we don't want to have to write that 10 times for 10 imps. I mean, it, it, in this case, it might not be so painful, but imagine you've got to do that with 100, or imagine you're doing it with a much more complicated script, that sort of thing. Wouldn't it be great to have a way to just sort of generate that for us? Luckily, we do. So, I have in the background here, Google Sheets. So, um, in this case, you don't often usually have to write this as a proper spreadsheet with column headers, things like that, but for clarity here, I will. So we got um, thing ID there. I'm going to call the first column the second column. We're going to call it destination ID there. And I'm going to put this into a spreadsheet of what we want. So I'm just going to put the first one in first, 1000. Destination ID was 1010. Now, Google Sheets has this cool feature where I can hold down control drag this down here. It's filled them all out sequentially for me. I should be able to do the same here. And there we go. So we know that a thousand is going to that. A thousand one is going to a thousand eleven. So what I should also have, if I take this example line, and close our script a bit to there. So just for reference here, I'm going to put in a line where what we're going to use like a string concatenation thing to build this for us, in this case 10 times. Um, so there is, if I'm going to do a formula in most spreadsheet things, you know, Excel or in this case Google Sheets, I'll start with the word equals. The word we're looking for is concatenate, and that sticks strings or bits of text together. So the first bit of text goes in quotes. We're going to say teleport other. And you notice we've got a, an open bracket there. Now the next, I'm going to stop our first string, and comma. The next we have, we want to reference A2. So A2. I'm going to put a comma there. And then we want our next bit of text. Our next bit of text here is just a, just a comma. So here's our text. There's the comma in the statement. Now, there's a difference you see between the commas and the quotes and the statements, but you do get color coded. That does help. Our next string is going to be contents of an Excel. Now I could type that in, or you can just click. It'll put B2 in for us. Another comma, and finish off the rest of the actual statement we want, which is the other comma, the word true, close bracket, semicolon. <laughs> then I need to close this string off, and then I need a closing bracket for the concatenate. Enter. And as you can see, it's suggesting an autofill. We now have. 10 lines of code, copy that, let's paste it in here, I'm just going to select all that and press tab to indent it, 
save, compile without errors. Let's have a go. Run it. Oh. Let's close that off. Run it. All at once. It works. 